Hello, my dear students. Have a good day. So, today's video it is all about the question on how to find the mass of the meter stick by taking the help of two equal masses kept on the meter scale which is balancing on knife so basically we are going to take the help of torque okay so torque of the stick as well as torque of the coins and after balancing out the position of the center of mass when it displaces from its original position which is at the center it will shift towards the other end just because of we are placing out two masses on one another <coughs> due to that the center of mass temporarily shifts and we are going to find out the mass of the meter stick fine as we all know the meter stick will be having measurement of 100 centimeter and when a meter stick is carried which is placed on the knife edge of the knife and just like a pivot we are using we are using instead of pivot a knife and when you place the scale over the knife it will balance at the middle point as the center of mass here i show when no extra masses has been kept over the meter scale and that meter scale is balanced out just by placing the edge of the knife at the middle point of the meter scale i mean to say at the 50 centimeter it will balance out just because it is a center of mass i'll show here <coughs> here is the meter scale imagine that this is a meter scale having measurement of 100 centimeter and i have kept a knife at the midpoint of the meter scale here the mass distribution is taken on left side is mass by 2 on the right side is mass by 2 it means equal mass distribution has been shown here now the point called as center of mass of the meter stick is at a distance of 50 centimeter okay when we read this question properly basically this question belongs to the use first year midterm 2016 question paper here in Karnataka we used to say for the class 11 POC first year okay let me make it clear and basically this is a numerical for the five marks it is carrying for five marks a meter stick is balanced on a knife at its center here as I shown in the diagram when two coins each of mass 5 gram are put on the top of the other one upon another at 12 centimeter means if it is zero mark somewhere here somewhere here two coins have been kept which is carrying equal masses of 5 gram and 5 gram you can see here now the stick is found to be balanced at 45 centimeter here I can show this is the 45 centimeter means the center of mass earlier it was at the 50 now it is shifting towards this point at the 45 centimeter from the zero mark you can see what is the mass of the meter sticks they are asking this is a very simple question basically before putting 5 5 gram of masses on one end at the 12 centimeter the masses has been placed fine before putting that 
the torque was equally distributed by this meter stick with respect to the center of mass it was simply tau now when you are placing the masses at the one end the torque of the meter stick the torque of the meter stick is equals to the torque of the coins when you balancing out both of the torques the center of mass is shifting at the 45 cm fine from the zero mark from the zero mark up to this is 45 from the zero mark up to this is 50 so before proceeding let us consider the formula for torque as we all know torque is nothing but tau is equals to force into radius vector or perpendicular distance okay here perpendicular distance is the mass distribution from either this end to this end or this end to this end this point to this point okay now see here when i am substituting the value of f uh, of torque at the torque stick torque to the base stick it can be written as f1 r1 is equals to f2 r2 since we know that this meter stick is kept on the <coughs> pivot on the knife it is experiencing gravitational force as well so force is acting in terms of weight so i can say that force can be taken as of the meter stick total mass m and gravity g where r1 is as it is and force 2 is nothing but <coughs> two masses mass of the mass of the first coin mass of the second one okay into g same which is acting as or as if on the meter stick and r2 see here my dear students now r1 distance first of all capital m we have to find and g value we know that it's a constant for both cases it is constant and here i'm going to cancel both now r1 distance is nothing but simply from the original center of mass to the temporary center of mass which is at the 45 that is called r1 distance so i can write capital m into the bracket 50 minus 45 is equals to what is m1 and what is m2 5 plus 5 10 fine so i can write here 10 and what is r2 r2 is basically nothing but the temporary center of mass distance from there till these two masses distance which is 45 minus 12 up to here this distance is called as r2 and this distance is called as r1 okay so here i am going to write 45 minus 12 okay so you can find it out here mass capital m as it is and here it is 5 as equals to 10 as it is 45 minus 12 that is 33 and capital m is equals to 10 by 5 into 33 5 ones are 0.20. So 233 is a 66 gram. So this is the required answer. Okay, this is the obtained answer. Thank you.